In this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn off 5G on your Samsung Galaxy phone. This is currently running One UI 6.1, so it's the latest version that we have right now, and I'll walk you through it, how to turn it off. Why do you wanna turn it off before we even do it? The one reason is because of battery life. Uh, 5G uses a lot of battery life, and you either might not have 5G where you are, or maybe you don't really care because your LTE speeds are just as good. So I'm gonna show you that. I'll do a speed test with 5G, and then I'll do it with LTE at the end of this video, so you can see the difference in case it's important to you, because most stuff you use perfectly fine on LTE. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is swipe down from the top, hit the gear on the top right, and then go down to connections. Under connections, we're gonna go into where it says mobile networks, and then you're gonna see network mode. Tap on that, and you'll see 5G LTE, E, 3G and 2G, that's what it's set to currently. But if you just choose LTE, 3G, 2G, you are gonna be awesome and ready to roll. It's gonna be in terms of it connecting only to LTE, 3G and 2G networks, it will not connect to 5G. And then just hit the back button and you will be good at that point. But before you go, I want to do a little speed test so you can see the differences between the two networks. So I'm turning off Wi-Fi, opening up my speed test app, and this is just connected to LTE. I'm gonna hit go. It's gonna hold it up. And it's getting some pretty good speeds here. I'm getting about 220. And I should be able to get faster speeds on 5G, but regardless, 225 megs and 35, 36 up is fine for everything like there's not a lot of stuff that needs more than that but let's try try 5g just to see so if you look at the top of the phone you can see it's connected to 5g i'll open up that speed test app again i'm gonna hit go and we're gonna see what kind of speeds we get same position obviously basically triple the speeds almost on there but again nice to have those speeds but on your phone when you're just downloading an app or you're just sending a message or a photo those speeds are gonna be absolutely fine. It was almost four times the speed, which is crazy. And then the upload speeds are double, almost triple. They're about double, they're about double actually. So very obviously, you know, triple and double the speeds on the upload and the download speeds. But ultimately, it, it's tough to find a reason why you would need all that speed for the phone. You really don't, but if you're into saving battery life, turn it off, otherwise keep 5G on. Thanks for watching, have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.